Don't you just love it when Valve pushes out a special new update for the Steam Deck? Well, they've got a pretty damn good beta update, which comes with something really interesting and also a lot of cool new things too. So let's get into it. At least okay, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon if you want to see more Steam Deck content every single day on this channel. Um, I'm excited for this thing. Let's get into it. Hey guys, before we get into this video, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory and we're giving away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button and bell icon and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So guys, this article comes from Gaming on Linux. Steam Deck Beta adds QR code logins. Oh, it's going to be so easy to log into my Steam account now. Um, gaming mode UI in desktop mode. So Valve's put up a fresh Steam Deck client beta with numerous fixes along with new features like QR code login you can use with the mobile app. So if you have the mobile app on your phone, highly recommend a mobile Steam app, dude. Like, I'm not kidding. You could buy games, you could browse the store, the Steam mobile app on your phone, which you can pick up for on Android or iOS, is absolutely amazing. You can literally access the store, browse the sales, decide what to buy, message your friends, all that good stuff. Check all the notifications. Um, now log in with a QR code on your Steam Deck. It just makes things super easy. So that is amazing. Um, you, to try it out, all you need to do is to be in the beta or the preview update channels on your Steam Deck. Now, all you need to do to do that is to go obviously go into the, your system settings on the Steam Deck and then change your 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 update channel to beta or preview. Now, this update also brings with it an update to the desktop Steam client on the Steam Deck so that you can now use the gaming mode UI in desktop mode too, which just recently landed for normal desktop slash laptop users. QR code logins will sure make things a little bit nicer, especially for those using longer passwords that can be a real pain to enter on the deck login. So the full change list, let's read through them. So we've got an updated big picture now available for testing. You can read more about this in their blog post. So we covered this in a previous video. You can now get desktop mode. The Steam OS interface on the desktop version of Steam now on Windows and now Steam OS Linux as well. So if you're on the desktop mode of Linux, you can now launch the Steam client and have it feel like Steam OS. But like, why would you do that anyway? Like, I don't understand why you'd want to have a Steam OS lookalike interface on the desktop version of Steam OS. Like, why not just switch back to the the gaming mode UI anyway? beats me but i love the fact that it's brought they brought it to windows for those of us that maybe dual boot windows on the steam deck we could finally enjoy windows unlocked unlocked all the game unlock all the game experiences like modern warfare 2 that we can't play on steam os now on the windows with the steam os interface love it um so added login flow that supports new qr code functionality that's really good we just covered that collections view can now show more than two rows of collections on scrolling oh very nice um navigating down to the app activity won't start scrolling up when passing over the post activity box very good i think that's been a bug that's kind of annoyed me reduced client load times for users with large game libraries awesome i have a large game library that could be why my mine's is a little bit slow to launch um reduced size of steam client download cool um fixed incorrectly sized discovery q ui okay fixed incorrect size of main menu in dock mode with 4k displays um Okay, I've not got a 4K display to have tried this on, but I'm sure that fixes it if that was an issue for you. Fixed an issue where some dialog dialogues opened from menus only responded to touch. That has been an issue every now and again. Uh, fixed an issue where switch to desktop option would not work. Haven't run into that one yet, I don't believe, um, but good that they fixed it for those that were having that issue. Fixed library view on certain resolutions not scrolling with gamepad. Ah, okay. Cool. Fix Bluetooth failing to turn on in game mode if it was disabled in desktop mode. Okay. Um, that is definitely good, especially for those of us that maybe have like a Bluetooth keyboard that I talked about at the start of this video that you can win. We're going to be giving it away like in, in the next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, Steam input fixed doubled input for Nintendo Joy-Con controllers. Nice. Oh, that's really good. So you can not only play Nintendo Switch games, you can play Nintendo Switch games with the Joy-Cons without any doubled input. It's seen each Joy-Con as a separate 
controller. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, gyro yaw and roll combined now allows negative contribution values from both sources. Flick stick output can now be inverted, can be sent to X or Y mouse axis. Fixed for flick stick, uh, flick stick turning when exiting an overlay with the stick still thrown. Um, Desktop controller layout now defaults to desktop friendly set of controls. Long pressing menu button will toggle back and forth to a gamepad friendly layout. Nice. Very nice. So there we go. Kudos to this um kudos to Valve. They're really pushing out updates, making this thing the best the best place to play your games, honestly. Um I absolutely love this thing. Um so there we go. New beta update. Go download it, go check it out, and um yeah, stay tuned to this channel for more updates on the Steam Deck because we cover Steam Deck news, gaming news, tech news all the time, every single day, multiple times a day uh, on this channel. And I also stream every day at 3 p.m. Monday to Friday. So if you want to come and join me, play some games, um, either on my gaming PC, sometimes on my Steam Deck, then come join me at 3 p.m. Eastern. And please like this video if it really helped because it need, you know, just clicking that like button or subscribing, clicking the bell icon, it really helps the algorithm, helps this channel grow, and it really means a lot to me. So thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your week and happy Halloween. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.